curious skin condition we've been investigating here at KTVU may come as a bit of a comfort to sufferers and says this is not something they've imagined. It's quite real. On the other hand, there's no known cure. In tonight's special report, health and science editor John Fowler has the latest on the disease, including a talk with a former Bay Area baseball star who knows all about it. Both horrifying and fascinating, from here in Florida to the Bay Area, something seems to be causing a mysterious new disease. Former Oakland A's pitcher Billy Koch has it, and so do his wife and their three children. Though they can afford top medical care, doctors have no answers. You know what? Something weird is going on, and something needs to be done. He freaked out. He wanted to ignore it, which I wanted to too, but when it comes to your kids, you got to stop ignoring it. It started in Oakland four years ago. Billy saved 44 games, the top reliever in baseball. His fastball wowed crowds, and then the weirdness. Some black specks came out of my hand and came out of my arm. And within two years, at age 29, he was out of baseball. Twitching, just uncontrollable muscle twitches for months at a time through the night. I mean, and that's, that's just weird. They say out of slow healing skin lesions will come bizarre filaments, especially after bathing. That's when it would just really just ooze literally ooze out of my skin. There's no reasonable explanation for it. I know I'm not seeing things, I'm watching it happen. I mean, I'm, we're pretty sane people. They've seen several doctors, everybody's told them they're crazy, it's in their head, they're delusional. Dr. Neelam Upal gave the Koch's and 15 other patients a powerful anti-parasite medicine and antibiotics that helped temporarily, but the filaments came back. I've seen them, send it to the lab, they can't identify it, they'll say nothing. It's not enough that you're suffering and hurting and you're an idiot and you're crazy on top of it. I mean, I'm really hurt and I'm really sad and I'm really scared. The Kachas may be the most recognizable of more than 3,000 families nationwide reporting these same unexplained symptoms. There are curious clusters here in Florida, along the Gulf Coast and in the San Francisco Bay Area, where we begin our investigation into new clues to this medical mystery. It looks like there's, there's a lot more on your back here. Okay. San Francisco physician Rafael Stricker took samples from Bay Area sufferers. Patients report pustules and filaments that most doctors dismiss. You're nuts. Uh, if you're talking about a, a white thing coming out of your wounds. Dermatologists told us it was all delusions, although none had studied it. This scientist is the first to conduct research on this disconcerting disease. This is definitely the biggest mystery I've ever been in, involved in. UC Davis trained physiologist Randy Wymore, now at Oklahoma State University in Tulsa, leads a medical team researching what's now called Morgellons disease. With cooperation from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Wymore's team is studying Bay Area patients and others from around the country. His first finding disputes that diagnosis of delusions. Pathologists and dermatologists and lab reports that these were textile fibers that were appearing in the skin of the sufferers well, that's just not true, just to be perfectly blunt about it. Wymore says his tests rule out not only textile fibers, but also worms, insects, animal material, even human skin and hair. The filaments, he says, are not external contamination, but rather a substance that materializes somehow inside the body, apparent artifacts of something infectious. More results are expected soon. And Wymore says a neurotoxin or microorganism may disturb muscle control and memory. The neurological effects are the, the much more severe, life-altering, and potentially dangerous of the, of the conditions. Waymore says he's about to begin a clinical trial and offers this to sufferers. We know that there is something real going on here. You're not delusional. Wymore just released this open letter to physicians treating Morgellons patients. He says doctors need to take this seriously, that what they're seeing is a highly unusual, newly emerging infectious disease. Health and Science Editor John Fowler, KTVU, Channel 2 News. The Channel 2 website has additional information about this baffling medical mystery. And if you'd like to learn more, go to KTVU.com.